Hello everyone, welcome. I'm back in with another video. This unfortunately I just couldn't make a video for a bit or much do anything else due to some... There be a ill wind blowing. Weather issues, uh, but uh, thankfully, just to let everyone know, I'm personally fine. Only some mild damage to the house that can easily be fixed, nothing big. Just went over the house. And, uh, yeah, no flooding, thankfully, that much. And, uh, yeah, it's all good, thankfully. They'll have some groundwater come up through the ground a little bit, and, uh, the yeah, entire property's flooded, but it's still fine. Like, no actual serious damage, just everything's just wet. So, in terms of, like, the wand and everything, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, thankfully, I'm fine. No, it was a shame it happened at all, but, yeah, thankfully, I'm not any serious issues over it and I uh, managed to finally get power and internet today so really happy over that and uh yeah it's really thankful since it could have been a lot worse but uh yeah so this as a little bit of brief aside but yeah finally back from the whole hurricane Milton stuff doing pretty good and uh I just want to kind of just do a short little video to just uh go over the take Wilds is going to have for my dual blades because I been using dual blades since, you know, third ultimate. I've been favorite weapon, how I'll bump it. And uh, I just want to see how they do the take in this game, you know, upcoming game, because I'm very excited for it. And uh, yeah, I'm going through Rise already with dual blades, having a lot of fun. And I'm really excited to play dual blades and wilds when it comes out. Though maybe for a little bit of a sale, because uh, that price is a little bit, mm, it's a little bit much. But uh, besides that, I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy the video. This, it's a relatively short video we're gonna watch, but uh, I'll try and talk over some stuff and just go over some of my own feelings about the whole thing. So yeah, so yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy the video and just kind of let's get started. So yeah, let's get right into it. Funny spin blades. So first off, that vomit attack, though, <laughs> that, mm, that gross vo mud vomit attack, that's disgusting. But, uh, weapon designed for rapid attacks. Good to know. But, uh, yeah, I'm honestly way more interested in seeing the monster attacks, to be fair. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently this wonderful little sandworm guy has, a uh, mud spray. Interesting. Now I know like um uh there the mud debuff from older games isn't there anymore. So I'm pretty sure this is raw damage and maybe a little bit of slow maybe, but besides that, like it's mud spray, so interesting. But yeah, so rapid attacks and all stuff actually want to let's get higher detail. There we go. Yeah, my network's still compensating since I had, don't have network for so long and all that stuff had to run off a hotspot, so I, yeah, had to get 10 AP there. My mistake. Whoops. But, uh, yeah, so, looks pretty similar to Rise. Demon mode is the same as Rise, it looks like. I think it's the same combo. Arch Demon mode, yeah. You spin even faster. Use focus mode to target the monster's wounds and weak points. Okay, so wounds apparently is this game's gimmick for combat. You know, Ryze had the wire bugs. And, uh, you know. I believe, um, uh. World. There you go, World. I'm, it's like 3 in the morning right now, so it took me a second, but like, World had the claw and the swing shot. So, I guess wounds is kind of just the gimmick for this whole game, and yeah, you're able to basically home in on certain parts, and whatever, and do whatever that is. Okay, so many things. Well, how do we finish this first before we, I ramble for a bit? Combo, that. Blades go spin. Blades go spin. Wonderful. But, uh, yeah, first thought. So, 
so. Yeah, you have the home and. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so it will areas. Actually, I think it's like. I just got off fighting um, Curio Monsters and Rise, and that looks like exactly the same graphical effect. So it's a little bit weird. But yeah, I guess that's like where you can grab onto stuff, really. So that's interesting. And I guess you're able to grab onto certain parts and do more damage if you're wounded or weak points or etc. So that's interesting. And then you do that. And you have a grappling hook, apparently. And you're able to do this beat of acrobatics. Alright, so. <laughs> yeah, you just do the fancy little pose while the monsters rise in agony. So that's. Yeah. I I'm kind of surprised they went this way, because, like. Rise was kind of like a little more of a like loose game in terms of like physics and how it works. So it's like. Yeah, I'm just kind of surprised that they went this way. Because I thought there was, like, it's going to be like a world game, it'll be a little more grounded, etc. I wasn't surprised, I'm a bit surprised that, uh, yeah, they'll go this route for dual blades, to be fair, so. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit surprised. I'm not really opposed to it, but it's like, I'm just kind of surprised as a way they're going to take it, but like. Yeah, that's definitely a feat of acrobatics. <laughs> you kick off its face, you grapple hook its face, and then you just saw a boy down its spine. Yeah, and like in Rise, I use that move quite a lot, and it's very exploitable, because like usually the monster isn't fast enough to react. And especially certain monsters, they are terrible against it. Like I just felt... I felt... I just felt... No, not felt. I just fought Velcana in Rise. And, uh, yeah, I just tore it apart, basically, because, like, first of all, I had a pretty good fire weapon, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it turns out the tail for Vel Velcana is, like, very weak, no armor, and it's pretty long, so you just go across the spine, and you just do so much damage. Because it's, it's not armored, and the fire damage just scales off top of that, so just, with max sharpness, it just does so much damage. And, like, due to how Velcana moves a lot of times, you're able to basically just go right across it and go on the other side, right behind it, and just can't react fast enough. Then you just do that move again and go back in front, and while it turns around, try and use its tail or, you know, just turn around and hit you. So, you easily just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and just, like, run them over, over and over again. And that could be a really funny experience where, like, some monsters can deal with it pretty well, like Magmalo can do deal with it pretty well. Um, but Tetra, for example, he just can't. He just can't. You just feel bad for him, because you just run him over, basically. And he just can't do anything, because he has no vertical attacks that can really hit you in the air. So, you know, if a monster can hit you in the air, they are going to have a pretty good time. If they can't, you're basically just going to go off free damage and just mess with their AI a lot, because... Sure, they can turn around decently fast, especially with some monsters that have specialized attacks that act as movement, but in terms of like rotating your body around. But you can just easily just do that over and over again, and just easily just keep on doing that over and over again until you break apart, and then they'll stagger or fall over. Then you can do more damage, break another part, stagger, and just scales from there. So, yeah, I'm just kind of surprised it went this way. Okay, this attack is very funny, though. Wait, how does that even work? So I guess you want to stay still and just do the fan blade and just defy all physics, apparently. Just go burr, basically, and just tear open a joint, basically. To be fair, I'm surprised the G-Force alone doesn't break your hunter's body, but sure. We'll just roll with it. But yeah, that's just- and they just- Hey, did, does that cause a stagger? That causes, like, a, at least a stagger. I'm not sure if it's a proper stagger where they fall on the ground, but... At least push them back. Or maybe just, like... It's a... Just, uh... Thematic thing where they did, just for this, possibly. Because it is a promotional footage, so of course they have an incentive to make it look good. 
Also, I just noticed um, this guy right here. He has little gecko hands. That's interesting. I never really noticed that before. <laughs> Neat. So he's able to spit out mud and has little gecko hands. <laughs> Neat. Hey, I'm actually happy I'm actually going over this because I'm actually learning quite a lot of them. Or, I'm learning a lot of details about this guy, so that's good. We're looking forward to fight him. Fighting him in the future. But yeah. I'm, I'm stuttering a lot too because I'm just tired. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, but this looks like just, again, just... Looks like basically the same as Rise, honestly, besides the wire bugs, which I'm honestly fine with because the wire bugs are my favorite, but... Yeah. The blades are... <laughs> oh no, chat. Oh no. The blades are... The blades' meshes are actually going in each into each other. My immersion is ruined! No, it's fine. It's just kind of funny when it's like they probably show like meshes like clipping into each other. It's just like my immersion's ruined. Free. No, it's fine. I'm not gonna free, but it's it's funny. I just like it. It's like it's like could you really choose a better pose for this, really? But I guess when you have different blades and they're different sizes, it makes sense. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's just kind of funny whenever I see it. It's a little chuckle out of me. I get a little chuckle out of it. Yeah, graphic-wise, looks fun. <laughs> armor looks fine. Almost looks like an Anjanath cup, like armor almost. At least looks like it. Like the fur, but not really to make the rest of the body. But yeah, looks pretty good. Definitely very excited for my dual blades and good old wilds. So very excited for that. And yeah, just really excited overall. So basically, the same as Rise. So you know, I like stuff in Rise, but I wish I was a little more grounded. To be fair, because like uh, again, I like I'm fine with a little bit of ridiculousness. Of course, you're fine to Dragon Ball Z monkey shooting lightning everywhere, and you have a giant sandworm just spitting mud everywhere. Yeah, like realism isn't a thing, obviously. But it's like I always try. I, I was a little more grounded, you know, a little bit more, just, like, you aren't bouncing around the place, and the monster could actually hit you, because, like, in Rise, the main problem I have in Rise is that half the time, the hitboxes just don't seem to, like, like, sometimes you get hit, that's fine. Other times, you just go for stuff that you probably shouldn't have, because you're just moving so fast, especially with dual blades, where you just go up and down, up and down, you just, like, dodge a lot of stuff by accident, like, like, I've gotten up mostly through most of Master Rank already, despite just going up and down, up and down with vertical attacks, and most monsters have a really hard time hitting you in that case, so. Even afflicted monsters have a really hard time, so. Even with their aggression and their explosion stuff, so. Yeah. It's kind of just a weird little thing, just. Wish it was more grounded, but. You know, with the wire bugs, it probably will be solved. Good part because the wire bugs are kind of like the main issue, because they're giving yourself a like, yeah. At least you're using a grappling hook to on the monster, so it's more interaction. So I'm fine with that actually. So like, I'm not perfectly happy with this because again, I prefer a little more grounded, but considering it's not bad, it's actually pretty happy for it. Just I wish it was a little bit better in some ways, but besides that, I'm actually really happy, really thrilled, and. uh Really looking forward to, again, using this stuff in, you know, wilds, so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just, it's a short video, it's only 47 seconds, so. Not really much else to say, really, so. Rambled on long enough. So, hope everyone enjoyed the video. I appreciate everyone stopping by and all that stuff. And of course, like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. And, uh, yeah, there's Discord if you want to go there. Twitch if you want to go there. You know, there's a VOD channel if you want to go there. But, uh, yeah, so long as you enjoyed the video, that's kind of the main thing. So, yeah. Appreciate everyone stopping by. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. I almost said stream. <laughs> Whoops. Appreciate everyone stopping by. And see y'all guys next time, whenever that may be. Good night, everyone. Ciao.